me a question. Um, I haven't actually asked this yet, and it didn't occur to me. What Mortal Kombat is your favourite? Fight. Oh. Obvious question, for sure. Ask me. But of all of them, which is the one that that you could go back and play any time and be like, "Yep, I'm enjoying this. This is this." Is, I mean, obviously all, but the one that you would would. I lay them. Simple answer. I lay them all out in front of you and go. You can play one. Which one are you playing? Um. For me, it's X. I like X. Uh, I liked X. I enjoyed X. I enjoyed Eleven. Um, I guess it depends w which character I'm feeling. Because one thing that I've kind of um, w one thing I've noticed is no no two characters in um, in either of the games are actually uh, equal, like the same. Like there are some things I can do in um, you know some characters I can use in say Mortal Kombat 1, which I'm not as good with in, say, 11, or vice versa. Like, in 11, I was really good with uh, Baraka. Why does look like he has a small, waving scythe penis? Uh, either a mantis trying to get at his penis. Yeah, a bit of a, a, bit of a bug there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's funny. Uh, yeah, it turns I mean, out that wasn't forget, a clue. Again, forget... Forget character. Forget character. I'm just saying, it's laid in front of you. Pick one to play. <sighs> so we're talking just the whole game. We're not talking about oh well, man. I feel like playing this character. The whole game. The game that you go. That's the one I want to play, regardless of anything else. Armageddon. Reptile. Armageddon. Armageddon. Would have thought mythologies would have been up there for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Armageddon. It, it was to me. Armageddon was the last. Of the classic Mortal Kombat, because it was, it was the title just before well, I don't think even, the reboot. I don't think even to you, I think that's just in general, isn't it? It was the last of the classics. Yeah, it was, because um, it was before the it was before the the nine reboot. In fact, there's actually a scene, uh, the beginning cut scene of the story mode of nine, which has got Dark Raiden, which is you know story story there, um, on the top of the pyramid after. Shao Kahn defeated Blaze and got this whole sort of, you know, omnipotent power, which is what he wants. Um, and that starts the events of Mortal Kombat 9, which basically reboots the whole thing. But Armageddon yeah, that had... Yeah, I thought that was an interesting story, 9. Mm, but Armageddon, like, you can create your own character, which I've always been a bit of a fan of, um, and kind of make their own sort of martial arts style, which I thought was really cool. Um, and it's, it had all, all the characters, like every single character was up to that point. Um, and it didn't have Aaron Black, so, you know, I'm happy with that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it didn't have Aaron Black, we're good. <laughs> it didn't have it. Yeah. Um, but it was also, um, it had uh, a go kart minigame. It had it had Fair like enough. a Mario Kart style mini game, and it also had like a conquest um, story mode, where you basically play as Taven. Yeah. Wow. Um, and it basically went through. So he was a new character in that one. Um, and T uh, Taven and his brother Dagon. Um, they, they were new characters in Armageddon. And when they um, they 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 put it together and um, and all that, and. He went through his his version of things and went up to the pyramid uh, right at the end and everything like that. And he, uh, Dagon was the reason why there's a red dragon clan instead of just a black dragon clan. Yeah, right. And yeah, um, I have never seen either of them since. Uh, no, no. Taven and Dagon have not been there. But then again, there has been a few... Um, a few characters like that. One thing I like, uh, when you watch all of them, you can actually see the evolution of um, Reptile. Fight. Yeah. Um, who's the guy I'm playing at the moment now? Who I think this would be his best, his his best iteration. Fight. I have heard you say that actually uh, when this came out. I remember you saying you thought that Reptile's iteration in this was. Hmm. Because he's because he's a. Z Zetaran, which is basically like lizard people. 
Hey, there's I, your face. For me. Oh, that, you can see that. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I yeah, I tapped the controller to make sure it didn't uh, didn't die. Um, I think for me, look, I, I liked X. Well, I think if you laid them all out, ah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play one, the original. Yeah. I think if you laid all of them out, I'd I'd be like, you know what? Can't can't beat just that original number one. <laughs> just the classic. Hmm. But um, well, I'm again uh, was. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm, I'm again I was. Something else. So finish. Oh yeah, no, no, that's right. Um, I was just saying, I'm again was they um they did that in, um, the basically the the 3D animation style that they did four in could just kind of ref refine that, and then there was a massive tonal shift when they went to nine. But yeah, that was. Go well, on. I mean, look, if we're talking on this Mortal Kombat. Uh, let's talk. First off, how good is the theme? Ah, uh, techno. Season? Yes, yes. No, I'm well, not usually one for. Uh, let's talk movies. Let's talk Mortal Kombat movies. Mm. Let's talk the the quite good first movie. <laughs> the very so-so second movie. Yep. And the ridiculous plot armor of the latest movie. I See, know there have been other things, there's been YouTube series and that, but we'll, we'll focus on the movies, the main three that, that saw... Yeah. Well, the first one, I mean, I liked that Kano, even though, you know, it, back then the Americans didn't know the difference between Australian and, and British. Um, but I, I quite enjoyed... You saw that? Back in the day, I mean, I, I liked the, the Kano from the, the original movie, <coughs> but, um... Oh, look, the Kano was, in the modern movie was fantastic. Oh, Josh Lawson, props. But, massive props. Yeah, 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 but... Look, let's call it for what it is, man. I don't understand what they were doing with that character. I don't get it. I'm not going to pretend to get it. I don't want to get it. What, Cole Young? In the yes. new one? See what was what, were the, what the hell was the point? What was the point? There were so many other actual characters. I still say this, and I know he's not necessarily one of the more popular characters, right? Mm. But as as crazy as it sounds, Stryker would have worked just as well. Yeah, and he's an actual established character. And I again preaching to the choir on this one. In fact, I think I was the one who I agreed you agreed with you on this one. But mm. yeah, the fact that you know the plot armor element that they had to this random main character that no one had ever heard of. I was like, what are we doing? Yeah, I mean the, the whole body done? armor, Why? the whole body armor power would have worked f for Striker still. Yeah, sure it would have. Absolutely. Yeah, he, they, so, they could have made yeah, him like a, a um, down on his luck cop, and it still would have worked just as fine. Yeah, but beyond that, I mean, obviously, I believe the um, the latest one was pretty good. I I, I mean, I, um, I still kind of get very um, hyped from it. Um, and my understanding is that Carl Urban. Billy Butcher in The Boys is going to be playing Johnny Cage. I know, I can't wait! Yeah, isn't that going to be something? I, I'll oh. be interested to see how he does that, because, I mean, to be honest with you, I was one of the people that, um, the, the WWE superstar, The Miz, was kind of vying for that at one point. I was like, I could see it. I could have seen The Miz as Johnny Cage. Alright, so... To reduce our realm to anarchy. Oh, not May havoc. The elder gods help us if he succeeds. For those that are wondering, I'm currently not watching Matt. I'm playing Helldivers 2. I'm about to do the um I'm about to do the, 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 the boss of this particular level of the invasion. And it no, is I'm currently fighting havoc. for democracy. And Havoc is a knob. You're not a fan of Havoc, I take it? No, he's a bit of a knob. Okay, Havoc is a bit of a knob, apparently. Um, and so I'm going to type match, which again, they've, they've done this quite nicely. Um, so more damage from... You know what? Let's pull out one of my original favourite characters. Mm. Um... Though, in this one, he's very different. He's not the kind of self-righteous... 
um, god of thunder that he, he has been. Ah, uh, Raya, okay, bring it out, Raiden, or Raiden, or whatever the fuck his name is. Raiden. Um, Raiden, yeah, Raiden was um, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we will do that one day. For That will be an interesting... Mm. Might want to get Michael in for that one. Yeah. Uh, for, for Metal Gear Solid. I'd, I'd say so. Um, but I mean, back to again, back to the, the movie question. Okay, so the first movie, quite good. Christopher Lambert. Oh, Christopher Lambert's raiding. <laughs> Sorry. What did you think of the second? Because Armageddon, I believe, was was fairly lambasted as being not very good. Although I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always cool with James Remar and whatever he wants to do. Yeah, no, J J James Remar did an all right. I would say Raiden, but it, honestly, it's very loosely Fujin, really. Um, in fact, if they, if they made it, made the whole character, like the fact that it's not Raiden, but made it Fujin, it still would have worked. But, I mean, mm -hmm. I can understand them trying like, to kind of capitalize on the success of the first one. Again, they made the, uh, the distinct problem of making it PG-13. Yes, not, not a bright decision. No, but, you know, it it wasn't its fault. It was, I don't know, it just seemed too campy. It d definitely didn't seem yeah, like it was the best thing there. It was over the top, wasn't, wasn't quite working what it should be. Um, but it definitely... Um, it wasn't doing the deed properly. No. no. I, I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, Mortal Kombat as a PG, like, what, it's like you talking about Century. What are you doing? You know, did you learn nothing from Nintendo's debacle? <laughs> Apparently yeah, they didn't. That's very silly. We're gonna, we're gonna make a PG Mortal Kombat movie and no one's gonna get mad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out... Really? That's... But, I mean, the fact that, I mean, people are like, Oh, but they killed Johnny Cage off in the first five seconds. It's like, well... If you go through the that loose... That was a bit, how you going? Well, actually, let me uh, educate you on this one. Um, in the mm. actual story, and I'm using air quotes for that, um, of Mortal Kombat 2, uh, the game, Johnny Cage isn't actually in it, because he does get killed by Shao Kahn. So they actually kept Fair. that cl close I to suppose. the game. So that, that one I'll give props to. Um, oh, no, but... I brought the wrong thing. Shit. But they, um, when they changed the actress of Sonya Blade, I don't think, I don't, I don't know who did, I can't think of the name of the one who did it in the Armageddon, but Bridget Wilson in, um, in the first one did really well. Didn't she come back as a character skin and voice for one of the recent ones? In Eleven. They, they actually did a movie yeah. pack, so they had Lindsay, uh, what's his face, who did Johnny Cage, who did the voice... Uh, and in and, and likeness, Bridget Wilson, and they did Christopher Lambert for Raiden. And that was when I actually started using Raiden in 11. Because, you know. Lambert, man. Yeah, Christopher Lambert. Because, you know, Christopher freaking Lambert. Which, again, is another thing that I actually really liked about 11. The fact that when they did the guests and, the, um, and some of the premium skins, they actually did um, the actual actors who, who made that particular thing. Famous. Yeah, they brought back the guy that did Shang Tsung too, didn't they? Yes, from the movie, and that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Your soul it. is mine. Yes, no, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, also, Eleven that kind of paid back cool. to the, to that original movie because in the crypt mode, it basically is Shang Tsung's island from the first movie, and there's a lot of references oh, to there it. There you go. So that was quite cool. Oh, that's good stuff. I like. I like when they. they show. Yeah, it's like yeah. It may not may not not have been the the best thing or the high point of it, but you still kind of you know, you never forget where you come from. No. Uh, 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 did you know though? Speaking of random facts, did you know the original Mortal Kombat movie was made by the same guy that made the Resident Evil movies, Paul W. S. Anderson? I did not know that. Hmm. Yes. So it turns out he's been making so-so video game movies for a while. <laughs> I say so. Look, in saying that, I would like to point out, um, unpopular opinion, I liked the Resident Evil movies. I thought they were actually pretty good for what they were. Honestly, but that's what... And as I was telling um, Jess last night, 
the, the Silent Hill, the movie Silent Hill, was a prime example of all these people that go, oh, it needs to be more like the game. Why that doesn't work. Yeah, because, yeah, that's, yeah, Silent Hill was very much like the game. And I've said this before, and I will say it again. The game is great when you are running around by yourself because it's happening to you. However, if you see Sean Bean you not are, dying, well, not even that. <laughs> two hours of a person running around by themselves, doing very little and saying very little because they're on their own. It's like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. The Silent Hill movie, I think, was a very, very good um, reason why sometimes trying to follow the game too much will not work. And then, you know, you got ones like the Mario Brothers movie that, to their credit, and that Which was one? computer animated, and it makes sense. Oh, that the, one. The most recent one. Although, <laughs> like you, I have, I actually have fond memories of the original Super I, Mario I, Brothers. I, I do hard. have, I do have a, a, a very soft spot for that. Yeah, for all the shit it gets here, it's, it's a fun, harmless movie. Yeah, Anyone I mean... Anyone that, that hates on that movie, I mean, again, what are you doing? Yeah, seriously, I mean... If you don't enjoy it, just don't watch it. But yeah, I mean, look, uh, again, Mortal Kombat is one of those things, for the sake of this this particular podcast, because there's obviously there's so much to cover. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised we may come back to it another time, maybe with a bit more of a focus. This was kind of more of just a, a personal reflection yes. on our well, part. Yeah, you know, there may be a time in the future we may come back and, and have a more in-depth discussion... On, on specific games, but for, you know, this kind of was just more of a, a generalization of, hey, this is kind of what we like and what we remember, and... It, it, it's kind of like, um, you know, Meet the Grumpies, and th this was an insight into, you know, what made me a gamer in the first place. Yeah, you know, it was a bit like, you know, it's one of those things, like I said, there may come a time where, where we come back to it and, and kind of get a bit more, more specific. But really, for me, this was kind of an overview of... And it is a series that is so big and so steeped in gaming history that you couldn't do an entire... You know, you couldn't do a one-sitting thing about the entire no. thing in depth. You'd have to... A bit like with when we did Final Fantasy, you know, you kind of can can brush the surface and you can talk in generalizations, but to, to try and have you know, really in-depth discussions about a series that's this... And again, I say, with with no irony, so pivotal to the history of gaming in general. Oh, yeah. And it is, you know, Mortal Kombat... It, it defined... Certainly when I was growing up, you know, it was a defining thing, Mortal Kombat. It really was. Well, back in the early days, you couldn't basically go two seconds without either advertisement on, on the... on the consoles. Or, you know, someone, some, someone from the PTA kind of got up in arms going, Eh, this causes the kids to be violent! Oh, they hated it. Oh, oh yeah. Didn't they? The, I mean, the kids, the kids loved it, it and they, the parents hated and it. And yet, ironically enough, ironically enough, if you're talking the game that I, I would say to this day has probably gotten the absolute most of an ass kicking would be, you know, and a lot of that obviously had to do with the... The, the Columbine shootings. Yep. Because they were fans of the game at the time. I believe, you know, uh, big fans of it. At least one of them was. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I think Doom is probably definitely the one that, that got hit with the controversy stick the most. But outside of the, the absolute horror that is a school shooting, uh, Mortal Kombat was, <coughs> was up there. You know, yeah, in the the the, the nasty category. Uh, yes, but, um, but I think look, yeah, I think we'll probably we'll probably leave it there for now. So we will, it's something I think we may revisit at a time and and get a bit more in depth on specific games. But um, why why are you tell them what we're doing doing up next, Matt? Why are you tell them what what's coming up next is kind of a, a little bit of a tribute. Well, coming up, coming up next Change in our next scheduling a little bit. Um, well, our next podcast, which hopefully won't be as long as as the no, breaks between I would this. imagine it will be a bit bit sooner than this one. Yes. Um, now that you're back at the land of living. Um, 
What did I'm we say? We're to admit it, but thank you, Elon Musk, for Starlink. We were going to. <laughs> we're going to. Uh, we're going to boot up Xenoverse. That's right, and Dragon again, Ball like Z. This, we're going to have a. We're going to have a bit of a. Again, it won't be an in-depth on every little little detail, but we're going to have us a bit of a discussion about. Uh, you know, in honor of the late great Akira Toriyama. Yes. Dragon which, Ball Z games. I'm still reeling the from, good, from the, the news of that. And the Game Boy. <laughs> I don't know. The PS, some of the PS1 ones were terrible. Um, but yeah, yes, I guess they they were they were what they were. Uh, so yes, the, the the next topic will be covered by the grumpy old gamers will be Dragon Ball Z games. Mm. Um, and hopefully by then we'll have more news on the newest one. Yeah, Sparking Zero, which I'm with baited. Yes, it, I'm still waiting for that Tenkaichi one. Well, the, that's it, Sparking Zero. Oh, that's what they're calling it now. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it could be just a working title. Hopefully, yeah, sure. there'll be there'll be a little bit of a uh, little bit of information. Mm, well, I'm following it very closely. So. So at the ne at the next podcast, hopefully I can uh, glean some light on what I found out by then. But uh, until then, this has been uh, Tess Murat. Yep, this is Nixon. And as I said, you know, like if if you do want to hear more about Mortal Kombat in maybe a more in depth fashion, because again, we kind of only really glossed a lot of the surface stuff. Do let us know, because if that's the case, then obviously we'll kind of go, oh, okay, well they want to hear more about the early days, and we'll, so we'll focus strictly on the early days. Yeah. This was a bit um, more, like I said, of a personal reflection. And yeah, so um, leave any sort of comments you want um, in the comment section below, any sort of suggestions for future podcasts as well, um, and we will do our best to accommodate as much as possible. I will say, as far as hints for the future go, um, Dragon Ball Z was not originally on the schedule, but we're going to do that. But uh, I think the next one after Dragon Ball Z, keep a lookout, because we might be entering a world that's a little bit darker and a little bit nastier for that one. That's all mm. I'm going to say. Maybe a and an insight to the psyche of one of the other grumpy old gamers. Yeah, we'll, we'll you know, go go down the road of uh, what may have brought me into the, the world of gaming a bit more. Mm. Go down the rabbit hole, or the raccoon hole, as this case may be. Ooh, yeah, I think you've just given it away there completely. What? <laughs> well, doesn't it with Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> No, not Guardians of the Galaxy, but now they're all going to know that we're talking about Sly Cooper. Of course it's Sly Cooper. <laughs> See, I was trying to lead it away from Sly Cooper, but such no. A, such a dark and, 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 and foreboding game, the Sly Cooper series. I know. Goddamn fairies. <laughs> yep, that's it. All right, right well, until, until next time, time people, thank you, for, as always, for joining us for our inane ramblings. And we, we look forward to uh, you seeing us next time. That's it. <laughs> Peace. Let us. <laughs>